human environment, settlement, transport and communication. A settlement is a cluster of houses where people live. It is an organized unit of the people who live there and make a living out of this surrounding environment. Study at a glance. Settlement. Rural settlement. Patterns of rural settlement. Functions of rural settlement. Urban settlement. Transport. Communication. Settlement. Settlement is a cluster of houses where people live. It is an organized unit of the people who live there and make a living out of their surrounding environment. The place where a building or a settlement develops is called its site. Settlement can be temporary or permanent. Settlements which are occupied for a short time are called temporary settlements. People living there practice hunting, shifting cultivation, etc. But in permanent settlement, people build homes to live in. Rural Settlement Urban Settlement Rural Settlement A rural settlement has a large number of people engaged in primary occupations like agriculture, fishing, cattle rearing, mining, etc. Basically, there are two main types of rural settlements. Dispersed settlement, nucleated or compact settlement. Patterns of rural settlement. There are different patterns of rural settlement. They are linear pattern, circular pattern, rectangular pattern, triangular pattern, linear pattern. All the rural settlements develop in certain patterns and the main pattern is linear pattern. This type of settlement develops along the highway or railway line or along the canal or a river in which all the houses are built in a line. Circular pattern. This type of settlement generally develops around a lake or pond or on an oasis in the desert area. When the people settle around such a water body, it automatically takes the shape of a circular pattern. Rectangular pattern. This type of settlement generally develops at the crossroads and the houses are built side by side, leaving narrow lanes and by lanes. Triangular pattern. Sometimes the rural settlement develops at the confluence of two rivers and the houses are built in between the two rivers and it ultimately develops into a triangular pattern. Functions of Rural Settlement The main occupation of the people is agriculture and other related occupations are cattle rearing, wood cutting, etc. In some villages, fishing is the major occupation and in some others, mining may be the occupation. In some villages, Cottage industries have also developed. In big villages, utility services like small markets, a post office, a primary school and a cooperative bank are also developed which provide services to the nearby villages also. Urban Settlement An urban settlement has a large number of people engaged in secondary or tertiary occupations like trade, transportation, industry etc. Urban settlements are compact and large in size. Urban centers have almost all the amenities of life. They perform non-agricultural functions such as transport, industry, education, hospitals, trade, administration, etc. Urban centers are often distinguished on the basis of certain characteristics such as the size of population, economic activities, land use pattern and administration. Urban centers can be classified on the basis of their functions. They are market towns, industrial towns, administrative towns, cultural towns, religious towns, defense towns, port towns, mining towns, resort towns, 
and residential towns. Market towns. These towns act as market points for the exchange of goods. They are the collection and distribution centers. Industrial towns. These towns are largely concerned with the processing of raw material into finished products. They have the advantage of industrial sites. Example, Jamshedpur, Bilai, Modinagar, Ludhiana, etc. are primarily industrial towns. Administrative towns. Those towns which perform the function of administration of the country are called administrative towns, like Delhi, London, Tokyo, etc. Cultural towns. Those towns which are known for the promotion of country's culture and education are cultural towns, like Mumbai, Shantiniketan, Oxford, etc. Religious towns. They are also a type of cultural towns like Amritsar, Varanasi, Mecca, Jerusalem, etc. Defense towns. Those towns which are known from military or security point of view or they are the headquarters of the armed forces like Jalandhar, Kochi, etc. Port towns. Those towns which perform the function of a port. Example, Mumbai, Vishakapatanam, Kolkata, etc. Mining towns. Those towns which are developed on the mining areas like Kalgoorlie, Australia and Kolar, Khetri and Bokaro of India. Resort towns. Those towns which are known for tourist attraction like Missouri, Nainital, etc. Residential towns. They are the towns which are developed to accommodate people who wish to reside there like Chandigarh, Delhi, etc. Dispersed settlement. These settlements are generally found in hilly areas, plateaus and highlands. Example, in Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim and North Bengal in India, the houses are scattered from one another. Population is low. This type of settlement is mainly found in Australia, Canada and Western USA. Nucleated or compact settlement. This is a settlement where all the houses are built side by side, leaving narrow lanes and by lanes. Such settlements are frequently seen with river valleys and fertile plains. The houses are congested, compact, and have narrow lane and streets. Transport. By transport, we mean the means for carrying goods and passengers. In some regions, animals are used in transportation. For example, camel is still the dominant mode of transport in deserts. Bullock carts are used as mode of transport in the village. And in some forest areas, elephants are pressed into service for carrying goods. Now, we have modern modes of transport. They are roadways, railways, waterways and airways. Roadways Advantages Road transport gives us door-to-door -door services and it is more flexible. Construction of roads is cheaper than railway tracks. In mountainous regions, road transport is very important. Roadways in the world The density of road transport is very high in USA. It also has a long-distance highway connecting important towns of the country. Western Europe has also a very dense network of roadways. Western Europe is highly industrialized and to facilitate the growth of industries and trade, good highways have been developed. European part of Russia and southern and eastern parts of China have also a good network of road transport. Roadways in India India has three chief categories of roads. National highways State highways and border roads. National highways link capitals of states. They have been extended up to border countries such as Nepal, Burma, 
and Pakistan. The street highways link district headquarters with the state capitals. The district road links important places and villages with district headquarters. The border roads are of strategic importance built in international boundaries of the country. Railways Advantages They are quick means of transport on natural land. They can carry more loads in comparison to roads. It is most convenient long-distance travel. They facilitate the carriage of bulky material in large quantities. Problems of Railways The construction of railway lines is influenced by physical factors like the topography and the climate of the area. Due to snow in the Arctic region and heavy rainfall in the equatorial region, the construction of railway lines are difficult. It is easy to construct railway lines on the plains, but difficult on the hilly areas. But advanced technological skills have enabled laying of railway lines in difficult mountain terrains also. Railways in the world The densest network of railways is found in Western Europe and East Central America. The Trans-Siberian Railway Line is the world's longest railway line which connects Moscow and Vladivostok. The Trans-Caspian Railway Line connects Central Asia with European Russia and another important railway line is Trans-Australian Railway Line which runs along the southern coast of Australia linking Sydney with Perth. Railways in India India has also developed a good network of railways in the Satlaj Ganga Plain and moderately developed over the peninsular India. India has the fourth largest network of railways in the world. Waterways Advantages There is no expenditure in laying the waterways. Too heavy cargo like coal, cement, timber, ores are transported at cheaper rates. Rivers are the only means of transport in dense forests. Waterways may be classified into Inland waterways Ocean transport Inland waterways It includes navigable rivers and canals. Rivers are the most important highways of commerce. In Europe, River Rhine of Germany is perhaps the most important navigable river. In USA, rivers Missouri and Mississippi carry immense volume of traffic throughout the year. In Africa, River Nile is navigable only in its lower reaches. In Asia, Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers of India are navigable in their lower and middle coasts. In Myanmar, River Irrawaddy is the most important river for navigation. Ocean transport. It is more economical and international trade is largely dependent on it. Important ocean routes are North Atlantic Ocean Route, the Panama Canal Route, the Suez Canal Route, the Cape of Good Hope Route, South Atlantic Route. North Atlantic Ocean Routes. It bears the greatest traffic of all the ocean routes. It connects eastern part of North America with West European countries. The Panama Canal Route The Panama Canal Route connects Pacific Ocean with Atlantic Ocean. This route connects Eastern America with Western America. The Suez Canal Route It links Asia, Australia and East Africa with Western Europe through Mediterranean Sea. This is the second most important route. The Cape of Good Hope Route The Cape of Good Hope Route links Asia and Australia with Eastern America and Western Europe. South Atlantic Route South Atlantic Route links Western European countries with West Indies, Brazil and Argentina. Airways Advantages
air transport has an advantage over the land and water transport as regarding speed. It does not take any obstacle like mountains and deserts. Costly and perishable goods can be sent to destination in no time. Air transport in the world. The amount of air traffic in the USA exceeds all other countries. There are more than 7,000 civil airports in the USA. Great Britain, France, Germany and other European countries have also developed air traffic linking many countries of the world. Russia, Southeast Asian countries and Australia are also among the highly developed air traffic countries of the world. Communication Communication means sending messages and ideas from one person to another. In the olden days, the communication or messages were sent through birds and later through messengers. The modern means of communication are fax, email, cell phones and computers. The invention of printing press made communication possible through the print media. More recently, Radar and satellite communication became very helpful. Summary A settlement is a cluster of houses where people live. Rural settlements are of two types. Dispersed settlement and nucleated or compact settlements. The following patterns are found in rural settlements. Linear, circular, rectangular and triangular. Urban settlements are compact and large in size. Development of transportation has brought the different parts of the world closer. Roads are one of the most important modes of transport over short distances. The national, economic and political unity of a country is dependent on the railways. Water transport is the most economical mode of transport. Air transport is the quickest mode of transport, but also the costliest.